In this last example, I'm going to solve an equation with variables and constants on both sides of the equal sign. Here we have 8x minus 15 equals 7x plus 3. My variables are 8x and 7x, and my constants are 15 and 3. Now, if I move the variable 8x over to the right side, I'm going to be subtracting, and then that will mean that I'll have negative 15 and then a negative x plus 3. Now, one thing to consider is that if you can avoid having a negative coefficient with your variable, do so because then you'll have to divide out that negative. So instead of moving this 8x to the other side, let's move the 7x to the left side. Then we'll have to move this negative 15 to the right side. Let's start by moving 7x to the left side. Let's subtract 7x from both sides. We're going to be left with 1x or x. Minus 15 equals 3. Then we can add 15 to both sides. That's going to give us x equals 18. Now, another way to do this is to do the switching at one time. Let me show you. We're going to move this x, 7x to the left. So we're going to subtract 7x from both sides. Then we're going to add 15 to both sides. 8x minus 7x is x. This is going to cancel. This is going to cancel. And then we're left with 18. Now let's go ahead and plug in 18 for the x to see if this is the solution. Here we have 8 times 18 minus 15. And we want to know if that is equivalent to 7 times 18 plus 3. Now, I don't know what 18 times 8 is, so I need to figure that out. 8 times 8 is 64. 8 times 1 is 8, plus 6 is 14. So 144 take away 15, 14 take away 5 is 9, and 3 take away 1 is 2, and then a 1. So 129. Now, is that going to be equivalent to this side? Well, let's go ahead and multiply. 7 times 8 is 56. 7 times 1 is 7, plus 5 is 12, plus 3. 126 plus 3 is 129. Again, because these two are the same, x equals 18 is the solution.